we're following a recommendation by Joko Engineering Help. I'm going to be doing my best to do a 3D CAD model of the Starship Enterprise. We're going to try to get the basic shape down and I'm going to see what I can do from that. Some of these measurements I'm just going to guess. We're going to be doing a lot of guesswork here, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam and we're back today with trying to make the Starship Enterprise NCC-1701, no bloody A, B, C, or D, or E, or F, or G nowadays. But today, we're gonna hopefully make the saucer section. So, let's see how this goes. This whole thing could completely crumble, or it could go quite well, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. So here's what we had last time. Um, doesn't look too bad. Except for these things, I don't quite know how to fix those. But, um, uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually, I guess, or not. It's just meant to be for a bit of fun, right? So, okay. From here, basically, we really could use, we really need to figure out, like, the saucer's center line. And its position from something, right? Like, I need the saucer's center line to know that it's... A, about so hang on let's go with a sketch on the xd plane let's hide the planes and let's just start a, let's just start a sketch right so like oh man this is gonna be one hell of a sketch this one might be the hardest sketch let's make a vertical construction line Put it about there and then as far as like height goes we're just kind of eyeballing it here let's put our height above that guy at like 340. that seems doable right that looks like about the center line of our saucer section this is all just off the cuff from looking at photos and all that with a scale present. That's... Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so first off, let's make some kind of arch. I mean, it's absolutely tiny. So... Okay. It's absolutely tiny. I don't know. Uh, let's give it a radius of... Five, maybe, maybe six, a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay. And then let's, still in arc, we might have to simplify a little bit here. Starts out relatively, it's still, it's still a big old arc. Like that, almost, almost bigger. This is, this is like, I'm gonna have to, I'm going with the distances I got. So. That's why the dimensions are, I didn't mention it last time. That's why the dimensions are so weird. Because I'm just having to go with the distances that I have. So, you know, if I don't have a certain distance, then there's only so much that I can eyeball. So that is why some distances are way like better than others and some just are super messy and all that stuff so that's why let's make that distance about five degrees and let's make this about 15 ish and then a uh, horizontal line coming off of it that's about 20 and then vertical by like 12 and then here is where the hard part is right there's actually a chamfer there but I'm we're gonna do that later here's the hard part this is a big old um, arc actually we're gonna say we're gonna give it a, a line first. We're gonna make it um, 15. 
And then, oh geez, look at all this mess. Look at all this mess. All right, let's make this arc here. I don't know how big to make it. Make it at least tangent with that line. About like that, which is about like 60 high. 60. And then much wider. Like this is about 100. That, that may be a little bit more 120 between these two. That's way too like bulbous. Yeah, there's some straight bits in there actually. That's more like 30. There we go. That's much closer. There's a straight bit that comes off of it for like just a moment. Let's make a line. I'm gonna have to make it tangent. We'll make it 30. And then let's manually make it tangent to that. And then there's a part that comes out like that, that is almost like just as wide. Let's make sure we make it like bigger. There we go. I almost find it easier to exaggerate what I want and then fix it later with constraints, if that makes any sense at all. It's actually a really subtle bend, maybe a little bit wider than like that. Very subtle bend, more like, like that. And then the height of the whole thing that's the question. It's way more than 150 millimeters, I'll tell you that much. That's more like 250 total, 225. Unable to determine a solution. Let's make that more like 60 then. There's a good chance that I screwed up here. I guess this distance is probably a little bit more. And then this distance also seems like it's more like 25. Good, I'm just eyeballing this. So... They don't really have real measurements for this. So that, I'm going to say, is right. And then, 15 inches or so. It's, I know I'm saying inches. It's like 15.1 inches. I know I'm saying inches, That's and then that's really weird. But um, the scale has multiple um, units in it. It's probably about a hundred even, actually. Mm, 90. And then that angle. A little bit more. Was about right where I started. Okay. I feel like that needs to be like longer, almost. This bit here. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll look right in the, um, the final. So basically about 300 there. And then we make a arc like that, uh, tangent them. And it's just a small one and it will come up to the center portion where the bridge is at. And we're gonna do the bridge separately because it's like a whole... Actually, we might do the dome bit for the bridge and then build the rest as its own part. That might make sense to do. This is just a little bit. So let's do like 30 is probably perfect actually. I don't know for this part. About like that, I think. Maybe maybe 150. There we go. And then we need another two-point arc. Actually, actually I'm gonna make a line. We're going to make it extend about 100 and 10 and the whole thing's going to be about 90 above that. And then we're going to connect these two with, with an arc. Make that tangent. There we go. Okay. This should hopefully look right when we revolve it. Let's see. Revolve. Around. Oh, hang on. Let's make us an axis to revolve around. Uh, where is that at again? Convert to reference. Convert to regular. Uh, shoot. Where is it at? Insert axis from sketch. That. 
Okay. Cool. That's what I wanted. And then revolve around that axis. All right. That actually looks pretty darn good. All right. We just need the bridge ex itself and the piece like underneath it. Like there's more to it, but that is starting to look really good. Um, we'll also do the little mini chamfer right there. It's just like about like that. And then there's a fillet there that is 17, 18. There we go. Okay, that looks about right. Oh man, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good here. Okay, the whole bridge section now. Uh, sketch there on that axis. We're gonna use that, should be plenty. Hide our planes again. Deactivate, revolve. I think I have a command, a keyboard command for revolve, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, so that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, we just need the piece that like goes there. That I don't really know how to go about doing. I don't really know how big it is, how to make the shape. Let's try something different. Let's try a sketch on that. And then let's use that as a reference figure. And then let's um, do that. And then let's like, oh man, manually add my tangents. Okay. And then let's go like almost to this line, but not quite, right? 300. Yeah, 320. No, I totally pressed the wrong button there. Sketch sketch six can go away. Hang on. Sketch six. No one likes sketch six. That was my failed attempt. Okay. And then basically this will go 78. That actually seems about right. And then let's mirror that. Um along that axis by the planes go back and then let's do a regular arc no shift a let's go like that no shift a my bad let's go and tangent that yeah okay that shape i think will be much better. There we go. Much better. And then, and then I just need to cut down some of this. And then if I fill it, I think it'll actually look good. If I just cut away some of this, right? We're fully constrained. That's what I want. Shift E. And then through all. Much better. Much better. 
and then finally a fillet. Now let's just start it at like two for now. Yeah, the whole edge. Yeah. Let's do like 15, 25. Then can I do 35? 37. Can. We'll go with that. I am happy with that. That is very, very nice. And then I need just a little box piece. It's like 15 wide. Let's um let's do a rectangle there. It's like oops. It's like that. There we go. And now we can extrude that uh, mid plane by um, like 18. There we go. Guys, we're looking really good. There's like a, a line piece that comes off to the rear and a couple other little details. But other than that, we're looking really good really good let's um let's actually see if i can do the the neck here why not i'm on a roll let's um create a sketch i'm kind of on a roll here it's a triangular kind of shape reference figures there let's also make a reference figure right there okay it's kind of a sorry i just saved um, kind of a triangular shape. And then... Let's just kind of go like... That. Okay, so... Connecting, it's about... This is... A, it's about... 45 or so, this piece. And then distance is there. That's actually about right. And then um, that looks about right. Okay, let's make this horizontal just to make things easier. Um, we really need it to land about there. This whole thing needs to basically be wider as well. 55 from the front of the whole thing. Okay. Give or take. And that's if I put that there. Um, so actually it's going to be like And then that can totally coincident there. And then really it's just a matter of, it kind of looks to be about 45 degrees, just, oh, apparently that can't be a thing. If I go 35 there, that works. Okay, that's about right. It seems a little skinnier down at the bottom though than what it's supposed to be. Maybe, Maybe that coincident should not be a thing. I don't know. Let's let's just go with it. All right. And then I think the front is full round. Back might be. Let's just fill it these and see. I go 42. Will that work? Okay. We have a neck, everybody. We're looking really good. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. I uh, can't forget to save. Um, but we will come back next time with part three, where we will hopefully finish off with the nacelles, the warp nacelles, and um, maybe a couple extra little pieces. I'm not quite sure how much extra I'm going to do. But so far, I'm really happy with this. So, guys, um... Like last time, thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel every day is a weekend. Uh, don't forget to hit follow, hit uh, subscribe, join the Discord, check out my website for more weekend vibes. And I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye.